we built a service called Azure Bastion, which basically allows you to go into the Azure portal and basically replace that jump post, right? So Azure Bastion really is a service and it's not just a VM. It's like in the background, it's maybe a VM, but you don't need to take care of it. It's just a service for you, which you can run. So for that, I wanna show you how you deploy Azure Bastion. So you go to the Azure Marketplace and you search for Bastion and then you can basically find here the Azure Bastion and First, what we're going to do is we go into our virtual network. So we go into the virtual network, which we have already existing, and we need to create a subnet for this, for Azure Bastion. So we're going to create that one because that is where the, in the subnet where the Azure Bastion instance is going to be deployed. So we call that Azure Bastion subnet. It needs to be that name, that specific name. We will then click on OK, and then we added that subnet to that virtual network. Now we can go out and basically deploy Azure Bastion. So for that, I go and click on create new resource. I'm going to enter Bastion here. And you will see here Azure Bastion, which we can actually go out and deploy. So we're going to create the Azure Bastion instance. Uh, this is also needs to be part of a uh, subscription, a resource group, and we give it a name. And then we define a region where we deploy this Azure Bastion, and that, that will then also relate to the virtual networks we run. And this is the virtual network we have there. And you can see here, it automatically selects the Azure Bastion subnet. And then Azure Bastion also needs a public IP address, but I will talk a little bit about that later. Because now your virtual machines don't need a public IP address, so you can use private IP addresses. So deploying Azure Bastion will take a little bit of time, but thanks to our video editing skill, um, it is quite fast. And then we can have a look now how we can use Azure Bastion. So we go to our virtual machine, which we run here in Azure. And now you can see that this uh, um, virtual machine only has a private IP address. So I can't actually go out and there's no public IP address assigned. So just from the portal, I can't really connect to that. Um, you can see a private one. I would need a, a VPN connection or anything like that. But now I can just click on the connect button because of Azure Bastion. I can just go here and say, hey, enter username and password for that specific VM. And click connect. And this will now open up a RTP connection in the Azure portal using a web UI, basically to basically connect to that VM and do some administrative tasks, right? So now here I have the server. I can see here, I can administrate this server. I can go out and uh, do certain things. So this is Azure Bastion. And again, Azure Bastion is great if you wanna admin, uh, like be an admin for that. Uh, don't get me wrong, this is designed for admin tasks and not for like virtual desktops for end users accessing it. For that, we have a service called Windows Virtual Desktops. And so how it actually works is, so as a user, you basically go to the Azure portal using TLS encryption. And then from there, it connects to your Azure Bastion instance, which has a public IP address. So the portal also encrypted. And from the Azure Bastion instance, it then opens up a connection to your a virtual machine with a private IP address within that virtual network. And so you get this end-to-end -end encryption basically to until your private network starts. Um, and so you don't have like any problems like um, basically with attackers going off like brute force attacks for HS SSH or RTP connections.